Hello, everyone. I wish we could all be gathered together here with our students, their families, friends, and mentors for this special ceremony. But the needs of today mean we find other ways to connect and celebrate. Thanks to technology, we can still celebrate student achievement and the very hard work that goes into each and every final project or research paper, program, or event here at St. Kate's. The students and honorees we celebrate today join a long list of graduates who have distinguished themselves in their communities and the world. You are members of an incredible community of Katie's who are living examples of our mission to lead and influence. And the world has never needed you, your intelligence and confidence, and your leadership and influence more than it does right now. That is why today we celebrate the many ways you have engaged in your St. Kate's education, the leadership skills you have honed and applied, and the knowledge you have gained to make our world a better place. These honors and awards are but one measure among many of your successes, and we joyfully acknowledge and revel in your achievements. Congratulations to you. I now turn it over to Tarsha Stanley, Dean of the School of Humanities, Arts, and Sciences for St. Catherine University to begin with our top academic awards. Thank you, President Roloff. My name is Tarsha Stanley, and I serve as the Dean of the School of Humanities, Arts, and Sciences at St. Catherine University. I'm here today to join in the celebration of outstanding academic achievements of this year's students at St. Catherine University. I want to extend a heartfelt congratulations to all our Honor Society members, academic departmental award winners, and scholarship recipients. Honor societies recognize superior scholarship and high academic achievement. Today, we have 28 active honor societies on campus. Most notably are the prestigious honor societies of Kappa Gamma Pi and Phi Beta Kappa, which will be featured in the latter part of this program. In addition to honor societies, many academic departments have established awards and scholarships that recognize their outstanding students. We ask you to join us in reading through the online commemorative booklet, which features the 2020-2021 St. Kate's Honor Society inductees, departmental award winners, scholarship recipients, and more. We begin with recognizing the tremendous hard work and accomplishment of the Antonian Scholars as part of the Antonian Honors Program. The Antonian Scholars Honors Projects cross disciplinary lines in interesting and innovative ways. I'm grateful for the interdisciplinary pathways cultivated by their faculty project advisors and nurtured in the Antonian Honors Program. I would like to take the time now to acknowledge those students for their hard work by individually sharing their names in alphabetical order by last name. Their project titles are listed on the screen. This year's Antonian Scholars are Alyssa Shyatt, Adriana Cortez Mendoza, Emily Cox, Haley Dahmer, Madison Fitzgerald, Ella Graham, Kayla Ilenik, Pragya Kamacharya, Megan Caters, Sabrina Kubisa, Megan Landry, Brianna Leverance, Juliet Martin, Emma Schluter, Maya Schultz. Skyla Tao, Katie Ward, Jasmine Yangwei, Brianna Zeinert. Each year, Antonian Honor Scholars projects are also selected for the Senior Project Award. 
selections are made through a combination of recommendations by the Honors Committee. This year, the Honors Selection Committee was blown away by the winning project's ambition, execution, scope, and authenticity, as well as the recipient's thoughtful and meticulous creative process. It is my pleasure to announce that the winner of the Antonian Honors Senior Project Award is Katie Ward for her project, All That Is Mine, I Carry With Me, a mixed media presentation exploring women, truth, and the unshakable. Katie's advisor, Cecilia Contrafar, shares, this project is among the best I have seen in my years working with Antonian scholars. The execution of this work with cut out images and words, music, voiceover, and film techniques is remarkable. The topic of sexual violence is handled compassionately, almost matter of factly, but with undercurrents of pain and anger. The project was moving and insightful and well beyond what we expect to see in an undergraduate project. There's no doubt Katie is going to be a creative force and a voice for justice in and beyond our community as she continues developing her talents in the Master of Fine Arts graduate program at the University of St. Thomas this fall. Katie's project can be viewed virtually at the Catherine G. Murphy Gallery. Congratulations, Katie. Our next top award we recognize is Kappa Gamma Pi. Kappa Gamma Pi was founded in 1926 as an association of distinguished graduates from Catholic colleges whose purpose would be to exert a positive influence upon their communities. St. Catherine University inducted its first students to Kappa Gamma Pi in 1927. Not only is Kappa Gamma Pi the oldest continuous honor society at St. Kate's, but on the national level, Katie's are also some of the first Kappas. Nominated by faculty and staff, membership in Kappa Gamma Pi is selective and requires that a nominee graduate with Latin honors, be a leader in co-curricular activities on or off campus, and be willing to commit themselves to leadership and service in the future. I am pleased to introduce this year's inductees. Rhiannon Beener, Vera Brisman, Rodsalva Hernandez, Molly McMahon, Isabel Pasteur, Vanessa Fung, Katie Ward, Elizabeth Wolf. Congratulations, inductees. You have made a lasting impression on our community, your peers, and those you have served. We are proud to count you among our alumni. And each year, the university chooses to honor one outstanding student with the Kappa Gamma Pi St. Catherine Medal for Student Achievement. St. Catherine of Alexandria is the patron saint of both St. Catherine University and Kappa Gamma Pi because she symbolizes learning and wisdom. The recipient of the St. Catherine Medal is selected because they represent the high ideals of a Catholic college education. I am pleased to announce that the university has selected Molly McMahon as this year's recipient of the Kappa Gamma Pi St. Catherine Medal. A mentor of Molly's once reported, I don't think that Molly rests. I see her working in the Center for Spirituality and Social Justice one morning. Then just before noon, I happened to run into her as she was reporting to help out on a project in the provost's office. Then I happened to see her as I was leaving campus for that day, working at the information center, all in one day. That is just the summary of one day of Molly McMahon's life at St. Kate's. And we cannot forget Molly's devotion to serving others and swimming. Molly, with a smile on her face, literally lives out the values of the St. Catherine Medal of Kappa Gamma Pi Honor Society. We are grateful to have had a chance to journey with her these last four years. Congratulations, Molly, on being selected as this year's Kappa Gamma Pi St. Catherine Medal recipient. I now turn it over to Anita Thomas, Provost and Executive Vice President at St. Catherine University, 
to present the next top academic awards. Phi Beta Kappa is the nation's oldest and most prestigious academic honor society. Since its founding in 1776, Phi Beta Kappa has celebrated excellence in the liberal arts and sciences and championed freedom of thought. In 1937, St. Kate's became the first Catholic college in the nation to have their request for a Phi Beta Kappa chapter granted. Our Phi Beta Kappa chapter embodies the best of what we stand for. We believe in the intellectual and social equality of all women and non-binary individuals. We are grounded in the Catholic intellectual tradition, and we purposefully strive for academic excellence using the well-established tradition of liberal arts education. Each student selected for induction has demonstrated high levels of curiosity and dedication to scientific inquiry and creativity. Their qualifications include a bachelor's degree in the liberal arts, a GPA of at least a 3.77, and completion of at least three semesters of language study and at least one college level math course. The 2020-2021 Phi Beta Kappa inductees are Zainab Abdi, inducted in summer 2020, Tegan Bosarge, Adriana Cortez Mendoza, Claire Hinky, Kayla Ilanik, Solvay Johnson, Tessa Jones, Naomi Kong, Brianna Landred, Elsie Lundquist, Safia M.D. Sidek, Megan Moberg, Brianna Morales, inducted in fall 2020, Michaela Patrick, Annika Peterson, Rachel Schauer, Maya Schultz, Emily Seen, Erin Tebben, Skyla Tao, Katie Ward, Mara Whiteley, Alyssa Wicks, Brianna Zeinert, Laura Ziliak, inducted in fall 2020. Our sincere congratulations to each of you on this honor and may you find Phi Beta Kappa to be your guide for lifelong learning. In celebration of academic excellence, we move on to announcing and recognizing the spring 2021 valedictorians and salutatorians for the College for Adults and College for Women undergraduate student populations. While we cannot gather in person, for the spring 2021 commencement ceremonies, we hope to take extra time during this program to recognize the accomplishment of these individuals. In the College for Adults, I am pleased to announce this year's valedictorian is Natalia Mendez. And I am pleased to announce this year's College for Adults salutatorian is Rebecca Icom. In College for Women, I am pleased to announce this year there was a tie for the valedictorian. This year's College for Women valedictorians are Erin Cutts, Ella Graham, Porhoy Men, Maya Schultz, Hannah Walker. I am pleased to announce this year's College for Women salutatorian is Lily Exum. Congratulations to all for outstanding academic excellence. And now we move on to the final top academic award. Traditionally seen as the university's highest academic award, the Helen B. Lemmer Award in honor of Mother Antonia McHugh is the only one of the all university student awards selected exclusively by our faculty. This endowed fund was established in 1973 
by the American Association of University Professors, St. Catherine Chapter, and endowed by family and friends of Helen B. Lemmer, Class of 1954. Awarded for the first time in 1973 the centennial of Mother Antonia McHugh's birth, this award recognizes a student who is intending to pursue a career in university or college teaching and exemplifies the high academic ideals cultivated by Mother Antonia. This year's recipient of the Helen B. Lemmer Award is Isabel Pastor. Isabel is completing a challenging double major in economics and women and international development. Her mentors describe her as one of those rare student scholars who can coherently place economic theory and data analysis into real world context. For example, modeling the economic factors contributing to gender disparities for refugees through economic theory and in real world data. Isabel has already undertaken substantial independent scholarly work during her undergraduate studies. In one advanced course, she completed a project entitled Pornography Searches and Sex Crimes, Evidence from Minnesota Cities. The following year, she led a project in collaboration with the Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis's Center for Indian Country Development that investigated gendered differences in labor force participation, employment and wages across identity and geography. She continued with this work through the summer and presented her findings at the Population Association of America's annual conference last spring and on a panel for St. Kate's Integrated Learning Series last fall. Isabel has a clear sense of her goals and research questions, what she wants to know, and what she wants to get out of every learning experience. She is currently collaborating with Professor Caroline Kraft on a World Bank project examining how gender role attitudes mediate economic outcomes for Syrian refugee adolescent girls in Jordan. Dr. Kraft notes that Isabel has done outstanding co-author work from literature review to solving difficult econometric issues with our factor analyses. Even before she starts her graduate studies, she will have a World Bank policy research paper and journal articles under review. Isabel plans to attend American University to earn her PhD in economics and further her study of applied microeconomics, gender, and development. Congratulations, Isabel, on your remarkable achievements. We are thrilled to see where your journey takes you next. I now turn it over to Matt Goodwin, Associate Provost for Student Affairs, to begin with the presentation of the 2021 St. Catherine University All University Student Leadership Awards. Thank you, Provost Thomas. At St. Catherine University, we encourage students to practice leadership during their college years so that they can realize their potential to make a difference in the lives of others. Earlier this semester, the university community was invited to nominate students for our prestigious Student Leadership Awards. We're extremely proud of our nominees and their accomplishments. Nominees, you demonstrate commitment to academic excellence and service, ethical leadership, and critical thinking. We send you a warm congratulations on your nomination. This year's nominees are student club founders and club presidents, creators and sustainers of community spaces that build belonging and connection, active in mobilizing voters and civic participation, champions for racial justice, peer mentors, translators, parenting students, and researchers. They are public policy developers, student athletes, gender equity activists, 
oral historians, artists, spiritual leaders for social justice, defenders of women's rights, trans rights, and immigrants' rights, and leaders actively influencing the world towards social justice. Each nominee had an opportunity to identify faculty and staff mentors who have guided them in their growth as a leader. The names of mentors cited by student nominees appear in our commemorative booklet online. Mentors, you have made a lasting impression on our students. True to St. Catherine's tradition, you share your knowledge, experience, and wisdom freely. Please accept our sincere gratitude. We will begin the presentation of our All University Student Leadership Awards with the Michael J. Baines Reflective Life Award. The Michael J. Baines Reflective Life Award was created in honor of the past Associate Director of Student Life on the former Minneapolis campus. The award was created to honor a student in the St. Catherine University Associate Degree Program who meets Mike's daily challenge to bring good to the neighborhood through leadership, service to peers, and community with adherence to high personal and academic standards. I am pleased to announce this year's recipient of the Michael J. Baines Reflective Life Award is Carolyn Johnson. As a physical therapy assistant student, Carolyn is described as a thoughtful, intelligent, and considerate student who fully embraces being a lifelong learner and supporter of her peers. Throughout her time in her program, Carolyn led with grace, compassion, empathy, and integrity. Especially in these adverse times, Carolyn saw the need to bring good to her peers and the community. Carolyn served as a peer tutor, spending many hours patiently working with her peers during a difficult transition from face-to-face -face course delivery to hybrid course delivery. She worked with the O'Neill Center to develop innovative and safe ways to tutor her peers online. Additionally, she worked to develop safe in-person tutoring for the hands-on lab skills that are fundamental to the profession of physical therapy. Carolyn generously gave her time to help support her classmates. Carolyn's nominator testified she played a role in many of her classmates' success and compared her leadership with a quote from Paul Wellstone that says, we all do better when we all do better. Carolyn managed to give her time to her peers while also making the dean's list, which is a testament to her pursuit of academic excellence along with service to her peers. We are excited to see the continued impact Carolyn will have on the field of healthcare. Without a doubt, she will be an excellent healthcare professional who will bring good to many of the dear neighbors. Congratulations, Carolyn. Next, we present the Mary Alice Mueller Lally Student Leadership Award. This award is presented to a College for Adults bachelor's program student in any class who has demonstrated outstanding leadership and service to their peers and the university, and who has been an advocate of the strengths and development of women of all ages. I'm pleased to announce this year's recipient is Natalia Mendez. A double major in marketing and business management, Natalia lives out service to their peers in advocacy for the development of women. Natalia demonstrates social justice-oriented leadership within and beyond the campus community through their dedication to women's studies. The women's studies major is not a formal major offered within the College for Adults, so Natalia's focus on women's studies is purely fueled by passion. Natalia's nominator shared that Natalia deepens the level of discourse and engagement with differing points of view in genuine exchange about difficult concepts and issues. This quality of bringing people together around intellectual exploration is too rare in the world today. In the local community, Natalia's contributions benefiting women are outstanding. Most notably, their leadership and service have been evident as the founder and key leader in organizing a recurring fundraising event benefiting the Minnesota Sexual Violence Center for the past several years. Natalia organized the event in tandem with the Powderhorn 24, a round-the-clock bicycle event along the Greenway in Minneapolis. Each year, the event has raised thousands of dollars and increased awareness for the Minnesota Sexual Violence Center. The creativity of connecting bicycling to social justice is notable. On campus, Natalia is an active participant in the Abigail Quigley McCarthy Center for Women. 
asking insightful questions at the center's events, and contributing to a sense of community online during the pandemic. Natalia also exemplifies academic excellence by making the Dean's List and receiving department awards. Throughout all these contributions, Natalia demonstrates integrity as a serious, honest student who is generous with their peers and makes substantial contributions through community leadership, advancing the development of women of all ages. Congratulations, Natalia. We move on to presenting the Thomas More Awards. The Thomas More Awards are presented to students in any class who have demonstrated outstanding loyalty and service to the university, integrity, and have promoted campus community spirit. Some students have made a major contribution to a single organization, department, program, or issue, and some nominees have consistently contributed to a broad range of activities. This year, 77 students were nominated for this prestigious award. 18 of those nominees will be honored this year. Listed in alphabetical order by last name, this year's recipients of the Thomas More Award are Haley Dumar. Haley is a positive, genuine, reliable student majoring in chemistry who has made substantial contributions to creating and sustaining the chemistry community during adverse times. Involved in the chemistry club, Haley's creativity, especially in the virtual environment, led to innovative solutions to build community in the club and chemistry department to the point where Haley was assisting faculty to enhance the virtual learning experience. Haley is also an Antonian Scholars Honors student and nursing assistant for the Health and Wellness Clinic. Congratulations, Haley. Miles Doust. Each year, Miles has selflessly shown attention and service to their community. As a first-generation college student majoring in ASL, Miles' outstanding involvement includes the National Alliance of Mental Illness, Student Senate, Lead Team, Lambda Sigma Tau Club, Pride Club, and ASL Club. Miles also serves as a resident advisor with the ASL Living Learning Community, a lead worker with the library, and an usher for the O'Shaughnessy Auditorium. Most notable are Miles' contributions to intersectional dialogue around neurodiversity, mental health accessibility, and LGBTQ plus community, where they collaborated with various campus communities and led self-guided projects to educate the community. Miles plans to combine their passion for mental health and supporting the hard of hearing and deaf community by going to graduate school for psychology to pursue deaf-centered mental health research. This is truly outstanding work. Congratulations, Miles. Justice Fisher. Justice is an example of a leader who raises up the people around them. As a resident advisor, orientation leader, peer mentor coordinator, information center lead, and leader with the social work and pride clubs, it is clear that peer mentorship is in Justice's leadership framework and is a perfect complement to their academic studies as a social work major. Justice also served in internships with Pillsbury United Communities and Plymouth Christian Youth Center, addressing community needs with a person-centered approach. It is without a doubt that Justice will make an amazing social work professional, bringing significant impact to their community. Congratulations, Justice. Tina Fortunato. As a social work major in the College for Adults, Tina is an excellent leader making notable contributions in the academic realm. Tina is passionate about the roles and contributions of women in our communities, especially gerontology. Her nominator wrote about Tina's welcoming, inclusive, and empowering spirit. Her global perspective and experience foster expansive conversations that enhance learning for her peers. Her skills in working both one-on-one -on -one as well as with larger systems will continue to have a profound impact on our communities. Congratulations, Tina. Ella Graham. Ella fully embodies the mission of St. Kate's and has taken it upon herself to maximize all opportunities available to her. As a student athlete on the tennis team, Ella is described as a bright and hardworking student who demonstrates academic excellence as an Antonian Scholar student, MIAC Academic All-Conference Award recipient, 
and an ITA scholar athlete. Ella also serves in instrumental leadership positions within the Women in Math, Science, and Engineering Club and the Hermani Granger Alliance Club. Ella also provided service to her peers with work in the O'Neill Center, Physics Department, and Economics Department. The broad impact Ella has made on the campus community is outstanding. Congratulations, Ella. Ellen Heaston. Ellen is a public health major who is kind, thoughtful, and committed to living out the mission of the Sisters of St. Joseph and St. Catherine University in all she does. Her involvement with community work and learning, the Center for Spirituality and Social Justice, Katie Buddies, Public Health Club, Volunteers in Action, and the St. Kate's Food Shelf represent outstanding service to the university. Her nominator shared that if it were not for Ellen's tireless hard work, the St. Kate's Food Shelf wouldn't be where it is today. We are glad Ellen will be staying at St. Kate's to pursue a doctorate in occupational therapy where she will continue to support others in living their lives to the fullest. Congratulations, Ellen. Morgan Howard. Morgan is a graduate student in the Holistic Health Certificate Program whose service to the Department of Residence Life and our resident students is exceptional. She went above and beyond to build campus community with resident students despite these challenging times. Morgan also received her bachelor's degree from St. Catherine University, where she served in a variety of leadership roles supporting her peers. Her tireless work and dedication to the student experience demonstrates integrity and service to the university. Congratulations, Morgan. Solvay Johnson. Solvay has been an outstanding art and social justice leader throughout her time at St. Kate's. Her leadership with the Empty Bowls Project and Ariston, along with research in the Economics and Political Science Department and mentorship in the Assistant Mentorship Program with the Open Arms Organization, is a testament to her passion to make the community a better place. Her work this year also includes an internship with the Immigrant Law Center of Minnesota where she has been working with immigrants and their families. Solvay is passionate about creating community and making social change. Congratulations, Solvay. Tessa Jones. Known for her leadership in the Residence Life and Student Center and Activities Departments, Tessa has done outstanding work building campus community with her peers. She leads with compassion, integrity, and advocacy. Tessa also leads with critical inquiry, aspiring to academic excellence with participation in research and honor societies. As a political science and public policy double major, Tessa aspires to go into law practice with the focus of civil rights and social justice. It is without a doubt that Tessa will make an amazing law professional. We cannot wait to see all that you will accomplish in your next journey. Congratulations, Tessa. Makema Kamara, a strong student leader with excellent academic proficiency and involvement, Makema is a motivated agent of positive change whose voice is resolute and purpose-driven. Makema is a nursing major, the co-founder and current president of the Pan-African Student Alliance, a senior co-chair for the Nurses of Color Club, a community leader with College Possible, and a volunteer for the Minnesota Mandingo Youth Alliance. She has also served in former roles as a peer advising liaison with St. Kate's Admissions, a chemistry student mentor, a peer mentor with the Multicultural and International Programs and Services Office, and an America Reads tutor. These are only a few mentions of the many outstanding contributions to the university and local community. We thank her for her outstanding service. Congratulations, McKemma. Ariana Marashi, described as the embodiment of excellence in the nursing practice, Ariana is a nursing major whose articulate, compassionate, and holistic leadership has made an impact. Ariana is committed to thinking critically about client care and learning from others. Ariana also demonstrates academic excellence with notable involvement in Sigma Theta Tau Honor Society, the Student Nurses Association, the Alliance of Nurses for Healthy Environments Student Committee, Medical Reserve Corps, 
and raising donations for homeless encampments. Ariana will truly be a mover and shaker in the nursing field. Congratulations, Ariana. Megan Meyer. Megan is an exceptional student who has not only been very involved in the psychology department, but also contributed to the university at large. Megan volunteers for the America Reads program and serves as a lab instructor and teaching assistant, president for the Psy Chi Psychology Honor Society, and works to decrease stigma for LGBTQ plus populations. Megan is thoughtful, enthusiastic, and hardworking. Her communication skills are exemplary, and she is a talented teacher who consistently shows a strong motivation to learn and improve. In addition, she strongly values social justice, and her work at St. Kate's and goals for her future research and career show her commitment to the equity and inclusion of others. Congratulations, Megan. Poor Hoy Men. Poor Hoy, or PH, as known by her peers, is an international student who has astounded her peers and the community by her academic excellence and service to the university. PH currently holds a 4.0 GPA while balancing involvement in the St. Catherine International Student Organization and serving as a peer mentor with the Multicultural and International Programs and Services Office. One of her nominators wrote that PH has a genuine care for others and her willingness to sacrifice and strive towards supporting those around her make her a sincere leader. She constantly welcomes those around her with her graciousness and humility, considering how profound her talents and abilities are. She is an excellent student who embraces a culture of learning in and outside the classroom. Congratulations, PH. Erica Olson. Erica's commitment to environmental justice and fighting food insecurity is commendable. Erica is a nursing major whose involvement with the Outdoor Active Katie's for Sustainability Club, Community Gardens, St. Kate's Food Shelf, Alliance of Nurses, the Center for Spirituality and Social Justice, and the Sisters of St. Joseph in the Justice Office with Celeste Dream is an example of the interdisciplinary commitment Erica has for helping others. We are confident Erica will make the world a better place, leading dialogue on the intersections between environmental justice and healthcare. Congratulations, Erica. Nemo Omar. Nemo is a public policy major who is an outstanding advocate for human and labor rights. Most notable is Nemo's leadership in organizing Amazon workers and Minneapolis airport workers to advocate for and ensure their rights including co-founding Minneapolis's AWUD Center, an East African economic and political empowerment nonprofit. These are just a few examples of Nemo's service to her peers, the university, and most importantly, to her community. This is very powerful work done in reciprocal partnership with dear neighbors. Congratulations, Nemo. Q Me Fee. QME has shown outstanding leadership around social justice and equity issues. As a public policy major, QME interns for an organization called Think Small, where she supported advocacy around early childhood education policy at the state level. She also has made significant contributions to the university as a SEEK event team coordinator, wheel writer, Center for Spirituality and Social Justice chapel assistant, peer advising liaison, Mapping Prejudice Project Assistant, and Research Assistant. QME will begin her master's in public health next year. We wish you the best. Congratulations, QME. Rachel Shower. If you ever wanna find someone who is the embodiment of environmental justice, look no further than Rachel Shower. Rachel is an environmental studies major whose commitment to sustainability has brought significant positive change to the university. Rachel serves as a student sustainability coordinator, partnering with multiple groups on campus, the Sisters of St. Joseph, other universities, and vendors to build sustainable goals and objectives for St. Catherine University. Her professionalism, maturity, and ability to collaborate with others makes her stand out. Rachel is a co-founder for the Outdoor Active Katie's for Sustainability Club, 
and was formerly both co-president for the First Generation Scholars League and an admissions ambassador, demonstrating her passion to help others. Congratulations, Rachel. Kai Tidi. Kai is an extraordinary student and leader. As a public policy and economics double major and Antonian Scholars Honor student, Kai's engagement is the perfect intersection of social justice, leadership, and the liberal arts. Kai's involvement includes serving in the National Alliance on Mental Illness Club, promoting awareness and reducing stigma around mental health. They are also involved in the St. Kate's mock trial team and as a teaching and research assistant for the economics and political science department. Kai is interested in pursuing a graduate program in public policy and then a career at the intersection of public policy and data science. Their passion, intelligence, and drive combine to create a truly wonderful scholar and leader. Congratulations, Kai. And congratulations to all the recipients. We end our celebration on an appropriately high note. In just a moment, we will introduce those students who have been chosen to receive the Dean of Students Award and Mary E. McCahill Memorial Award, the two most prestigious student leadership awards given by St. Catherine University. We will now begin the presentation with the Dean of Students Award. The Dean of Students Award recognizes a senior from the College for Women who has made an outstanding contribution to the university's mission throughout their years at St. Catherine University. This year, we had 26 nominations for the Dean of Students Award. I am so very pleased to announce that this year's recipient of the Dean of Students Award is Molly McMahon. Molly truly embodies the mission of St. Kate's and is a Katie through and through. Her belief in the mission and purpose of a St. Kate's education is evident in the daily interactions with the community across a wide array of service and support activities for others. As a three plus three student in the Doctor of Physical Therapy program, currently completing her undergraduate portion, Molly is also a student athlete on the St. Kate's swim and dive team. Molly's nominators consistently described her as being optimistic, selfless, energetic, and encouraging. This is evident both inside and outside the classroom. A short list of her academic accomplishments includes making the Dean's List, receiving the MIAC Academic All-Conference Selection two years in a row, being inducted into Kappa Omicron Nu, Phi Kappa Phi, Chi Alpha Sigma, and Kappa Gamma Pi Honor Societies, receiving the St. Catherine Medal with Kappa Gamma Pi and serving as a research assistant with the Exercise Science Department. Outside the classroom, a sample of Molly's accomplishments include serving as an orientation leader and coordinator, peer minister, resident advisor, Butler Center assistant, university campaign, Special Olympics, and Meals on Wheels volunteer. She's also been an information center assistant and a Wildcat Student Athlete Advisory Committee president. Hearing her accomplishments explains why one selection committee member said she is everywhere on campus. Molly is always smiling, even with a mask on, and willing to help with whatever one might need to ease their workload, despite the heavy workload she carries by being a student athlete in a doctorate program balancing being a student employee in many roles and volunteering on several campus committees. She's an absolute joy to work with and demonstrates flexibility and adaptability, qualities that are incredibly important in these adverse times. Most notable is Molly's continued drive to support the student experience through selfless optimism. Molly is quoted by one of her nominators as saying, no matter what happens, it's about creating the best possible experience for students and making sure they find a connection with St. Kate's. This is another example of the service-focused leadership style Molly brings to any situation. Molly, we are incredibly proud of you and grateful for your service to the mission of the university. Your impact on the community is admirable. We wish you the best in your years to come, finishing your doctorate degree, and we cannot wait to see your continued impact on the world and all of the dear neighbors you will encounter on your life's journey. Thank you for reminding us what it truly means to respond to the needs of the time as an embodiment of the Katie spirit. 
Molly embodies the original words of the Sisters of St. Joseph in that she moves always towards profound love of God and love of neighbor without distinction, from whom she does not separate herself and for whom she works in order to achieve unity of neighbor with neighbor. Congratulations, Molly. I now turn it over to President Roloff to present the Mary E. McCahill Memorial Award. Finally, we conclude with the university's highest award, recognizing both academic excellence and extraordinary student leadership. The Mary E. McCahill Memorial Award was established by Eugene McCahill, a longtime friend of the university and past member of our Board of Trustees. He established the award as a memorial to his mother, friend of the university's first dean and president, Mother Antonia McHugh. This award, recognized as St. Catherine University's most prestigious, is presented to the graduating senior who has consistently demonstrated outstanding leadership, loyalty, and service to the university. The name of this year's recipient of this award will be familiar to many of you. They have been a visible and involved student on campus since their very first year and have made significant contributions to our community, both academically and as a peer leader. It's a pleasure to present the 2021 Mary E. McCahill Memorial Award to Jasmine Youngway. There is no person more deserving of this award than Jasmine for her well-rounded impact on the university and her peers. The most notable aspect of Jasmine's nominations included the resounding support and consistent praise from faculty, staff, and students. This shows the impact Jasmine has made on our community. Jasmine is a political science major aspiring to be a law professional who has done impressive work since the beginning of her time at St. Kate's. In her first weeks as a student, Jasmine took initiative to engage in our community campus and file for commuter senator position on the College for Women Student Senate and was elected by her peers to represent their voices. After excelling in this role, she found another opportunity to support and represent her peers by becoming the Student Senate Organizational Affairs Co-Chair, supporting chartered clubs and organizations. Jasmine's calm demeanor, critical inquiry, and gentle approach has led to respect among her peers. It is no surprise that she was elected the Student Senate President for this academic year. Jasmine takes the responsibility of representing student voices, concerns, and needs very seriously. She appreciates the complexity of the role, consistently modeling for her fellow peer leaders how to consider all students' needs, and challenging herself and the Student Senate to keep this framework in mind when making decisions. The virtual and remote environments that have been necessary this year add to this challenge of equitable advocacy, but they have not reduced Jasmine's ability to carefully represent the diverse needs of all students as she leads the undergraduate student senate. Jasmine was also in a leadership role within the Asian Women's Association Club and lead team. In the Asian Women's Association, Jasmine organized multiple large-scale events that celebrate Asian culture and heritage and also introduce other students to diversity within Asian and Asian American communities. As a member of the LEAD team, Jasmine participated in leadership training and facilitated interactive leadership workshops for her peers. Examples of a few of these leadership sessions she facilitated included time management, team development, and the art of compromise. She facilitated sessions for student organizations, as well as small and large group of students, such as teaching the entire class of first-year students the university's leadership statement during orientation. In the fall of 2019, 
she also co-facilitated a session for an ethics and decision-making class for interpreting majors on campus. Jasmine's established practice of giving back to her fellow students does not stop there. Jasmine also was a peer mentor within the Multicultural and International Programs and Services Office, mentoring BIPOC students and building an inclusive community. Within the Student Center and Activities Department, she also served both as a transfer orientation leader, providing a supportive experience for transfer students and as a summer student event coordinator, programming events and activities for summer session students. No easy feat in a virtual environment. In addition to leadership roles, Jasmine volunteered to serve in a variety of campus committees, most notably the dining committee, where she advocated and made changes for more accessible food labels in the dining room. Jasmine is also in the Antonian Scholars Honors Program at St. Kate's, a rigorous and difficult program for exceptional students that has access to honor-specific courses, events, and networking experiences. Jasmine noticed that the Antonian Honors Program does not reflect the diversity of our campus. Students of color are dramatically underrepresented in the Honors Program. Jasmine has taken on a true leadership role in recruiting other students to the Honors Program and helping mentor them to successfully navigate this important program. She managed to go above and beyond, all while balancing her own senior project titled, What Does It Mean to Be Hmong? that chronicles oral histories of Hmong Minnesotans. In addition to being an Antonian scholar, Jasmine has made the Dean's List for the last six consecutive semesters. In spring 2020, Jasmine was inducted in the Pi Sigma Alpha Political Science Honor Society and awarded the Newman Civic Fellowship, a national award that recognizes students who demonstrate commitment to civic education, civic engagement, community service, and addressing inequalities. In that same time frame, Jasmine served as a policy intern for Capital Pathways, preparing background briefs for state leaders, attending legislative hearings, and capturing notes and tracking coalition data to summarize ongoing activities, policy advancements, and outcomes. Across all of these impressive engagement with fellow Cadies in our Twin Cities communities, Jasmine is described as genuine, uplifting, and a selfless person who leads with integrity. She listens intently and is keenly aware of group dynamics. She can identify challenges and then work to identify solutions. She does this in a collaborative and inclusive manner that encourages her team members and co-workers in the work. Jasmine demonstrates a sense of diligence and commitment that is impressive and rare. Her calm and uplifting demeanor is contagious, and she enables groups to focus on solutions even amid complex situations and trying times. Jasmine, we are sincerely grateful for your leadership and mentorship. I personally am grateful for all the help that you've given to me and given to our office. The impact you have made on our community is commendable. We cannot wait to see your continued impact on the world and wish you the very best in your future. Congratulations. Each award recipient is truly deserving. A special thanks goes out to all those who work to make this virtual celebration happen. And thank you again to those who nominated all these wonderful student leaders and to the selection committee for their careful consideration of every nomination. An electronic version of our commemorative awards booklet is available online beginning May 7th. So please feel free to share with families and friends. To conclude, let's give one more congratulations 
to all of our nominees and award winners, now more than ever, the world needs your leadership and inspiration for living our lives out with meaning. I know you are up to the challenge. Thank you for joining us today for this special celebration.